everyone. This is Dee Omahen. I'm the sponsor of Park Bench Ponte Vedra. I'm also a real estate advisor here in Nocatee. I am interviewing Lisa Anderson with Peppermint Seahorse, and we're getting all geared up for a big event in Nocatee called Fallapalooza. And it's a local maker fair on November 6th from 10 to 5 at Waypoint Church. And I'm going to have a booth there also. And um, Lisa, can you just tell everybody about your company? Sure. Uh, thank you for having me on. And this opportunity is really good. You're welcome. Uh, to share. So uh, my company is called Peppermint Seahorse. And it's really just all about coastal decor. Um, I hand make pretty much everything in the store, or I curate from other local artists. Um, buy some things at market if I feel like they fit. And it's something that I want to, that I really love. And I think other people will love. So um, it's online right now. I do some events like this fair that's coming up, um, or I'll do kind of in-person home events with um, other vendors where we'll do kind of a group sip and shop. Sounds fun. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Can you show us um, some of your work and, and tell us kind of what inspired you to start doing this? Sure, sure. I'll um, share my screen in just a bit. Um, so what inspired me is during COVID uh, last year, I'm a healthcare worker. So I'm a, a physical therapist, been doing that for 30 years. And, you know, it was a pretty stressful time and didn't really know where my job was going to be heading. So I kind of went back to my first love, which is I love being creative and doing crafts. And I just I love everything about the beach and coast uh, decor. So I decided to kind of meld the two together and start making things. And then I started getting people saying, hey, you could <laughs> you could actually sell this. This is good stuff. Um, and I would get a lot of inspiration from local shops that I go to or Pinterest. So I'll show you some of the items that I have available. So yeah, this is just um, uh, so I a tray that I and this is sort of another thing that I like. To, I'm starting to enjoy getting into more is um, design and de decorating. So just giving people some tips. You know, a lot of people say I have this. You know. Uh, coffee table or shower table in my hallway. I don't know what to do with it. So I'll just give them some ideas. Uh, this one is just, these uh, I purchased from a local artist up in Fernandina Beach and she does some really great work. Yeah, that's, that's clever to do the pumpkin with the, mm -hmm. yeah. And then this just is another same signs, but just showing how you can use them on a tiered tray. So I like decorating with tiered trays because they're so versatile and you can put them in your kitchen on a table and they just kind of add a nice pop of, of either color or interest. And then these are bead garlands. These are pretty popular. You've seen those probably out in shops. So I started making those as well. And I just showed on the bottom corner there some color swatches. I had a customer who wanted custom colors. So I also can do custom colors for people. And that just shows how you can use it. Um, the bead garlands can be kind of laid out on a table. They can be put around some candles or um, hung on a vase like that. Let's see. I'm trying to get to my pictures. <laughs> All I was um, showcasing some painted pumpkins and this picture doesn't really show the scale too well, but those are mini pumpkins on the tray. And then the larger pumpkins are shown below. So I can do pretty much any size pumpkin, paint it. I haven't quite gotten artistic enough yet to paint anything on them <laughs> or stencil on them. So they're, they're plain right now, but I might try to delve into some more artistic endeavors later. And then these are pumpkins that are just um, made out of burlap. And those are kind of cool for a beachy coastal look. And then I also make some ornaments. So of course for Nocatee with the golf carts, I've got some golf cart ornaments that I can also do in whatever color your golf cart is. And the rest are, you know, so these are just kind of a sampling of what I have. And then I've got Christmas items that are, that I'm working on that are coming out. 
and this is one that I make. It's just kind of a wooden sign that you can put out on your porch or hang in the house. And I can do different color starfish. So that's just a little teaser for what I have coming for Christmas. I have a lot more coming though. That's excellent. That's beautiful. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, now I need. So how can people find you or find, you know, if they want to purchase some items? Sure. So I do have a website, peppermintseahorse.com. And it used to say under construction, but now I do have a landing page. And there's some items on there. It's not full yet. I'm still building it, building the shop. And Facebook, um, at Peppermint Seahorse. Instagram, I post um, pretty much everything that I make or have in the store on social media. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's nice to have to support local businesses like yourself. Um, and do you want to tell people about, so you're a Nocatee resident, you want to tell people your favorite place to go in Nocatee? Mm -hmm, sure. Um, so I do live in Nocatee. I've been here for a year. We built in Freedom Landing. And before that, I lived out at the beach, Ponte Vedra Beach for about nine years. So my favorite pay place outside of Nocatee, I have to be honest, is the beach. I love, uh, we're members of the lodge and club. So I just love going there. But in Nocatee, I would probably say Coastal Wine <laughs> Market. <laughs> I just love that place. It's just so relaxing and beautiful. And um, they just, it's a great vibe there. So I really enjoy that. Definitely. Yeah, that's a beautiful, yeah. cool. I love their new space that they built. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, that chandelier is gorgeous. Great. Well, thank you for sharing your amazing um, work with us. And if people will find you, so once again, Peppermint Seahorse, you can find them online or at Fallapalooza on November 6th. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, thank you again, Lisa Anderson. And once again, my name is Dee Omahen, and I am a real estate advisor with the sponsor of Park Bench Ponte Vedra. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.